This is the world's largest small commodity wholesale market. Each day, tens of millions of parcels are sent from here to over 200 countries and regions around the world. If you were to browse five minutes in front of each stall, covering the entire market would take more than eight months. <laughs> Alaini, a businessman from Shamin who has settled in Iwo, is one of the best known agents in town. He's showing a group of buyers the goods on offer. With Alaini's help, clients only need a few hours to find desired goods in a market that takes months to cover. Showing them how to buy is just part of Alaini's job. His other hat is that of trading company CEO. Through his trading company, Alaini can promote goods directly to overseas buyers. Each year, Alaini's trading company helps almost 4,000 international buyers find the best-selling items in Iwo. Alani's kids go to school in China. Every weekend, he spends quality time with them cooking their favorite Chinese dishes. The kids were born in China. I've been here for 28 years, so I feel like I'm a local. Alaini wears a third hat, that of startup entrepreneur. He and his Chinese partner have invested in a solar panel factory in nearby Lanxi. Uh, the evil of today is truly international. It creates wealth and it allows the smoothest transactions between buyer and seller. At first, foreigners sent Chinese goods abroad. Now we need to send foreign things to the Chinese markets. China has become a world market. The China Europe Express, the Iwu Ningbo Zhongshan Open Channel, and the Sea Rail links expand logistical capabilities. As a result, Iwu's trade value has grown to top 200 billion yuan, half of which is with Belt and Road countries.